everyone, Lord of Flames here, and welcome back to another reaction videos. Today we're going to watch two videos, which this one is by Stuffy Studios, and this one is by the Macabre, no, Macabre Experiment Fan Series. I hope I said that right. But yes, Macabre Experiment 2, Suicide Mouse. Which based on the, the Mickey Mouse, you know how much I hate Disney. But anyways, let's get on with the video. Protective Agency, okay. Greetings, once again. This case includes mention of death and suicide. It's not for the faint of heart. Okay. If you happen to stumble across this private file, delete it immediately. Okay. Otherwise, let's get to the investigation. Hmm. Our first person of interest is Diana Cooper. Okay. I tried speaking to him. He really just doesn't listen to anything anymore. All he wants to do is sit around and smoke a cigar in front of the actually getting his foot done. If we don't need him to appear for the show, Wow. What a lazy person. Doing nothing. We have a deadline. When this is over, I can get back home with you, honey. I promise. You can do whatever you want, okay? I love you. Oh, boo hoo! What are you going to do about it? I think I just saw a face. And you know what happens when you try to take other franchises for yourself, Mickey Mouse Disney. This happens. I don't have a kid, okay? So you don't have to tell me. You're dead. Hmm. And there's that familiar sound in the suicide mouse which I think it is who knows which is this scene is a little bit based on that one this short game that someone just made or is this one 
film or this video that someone made. Oh well. Where the darkness is closing in, all's consume the entire world. Only the light source is just you. All alone. Where the darkness is just the only thing you had. And hopes and dreams are lost. Goodbye. Hmm. The following is a call from Rowan Weathers that was recorded for our investigation. Okay. What's wrong with your face, man? Well, your kid is dead. And what, we're going to uh, hear that familiar scream like the original, or no? What are you looking at? Good try of scaring me, Mickey Mouse. You're not doing it good. It's like you don't know how to make a horror. You don't know how to make a horror movie, right? I think that's the other person dead. Eh. It's kind of weird the way those, co those costumes look in those times. Kind of creep everybody out. Until years later in the present, there you have a modern look of Mickey Mouse. Well, that was right there for the Suicide Mouse. It's kind of alright. It's kind of alright. It didn't scare me at all. Like, there's some disturbing things of some people died. But, knowing it's just, doesn't fully explain of the reason. Like, if I had to watch it again to have, if there are any to have subtitles or try to understand closely what the person's saying of the reason why they went to suicide. And what's the prop the problem between between um between the suicide mouse of the animation stuff and um suicide kills staff stuff if they're all similarly connected. Which doesn't fully explain about but well, let's get on to the other video. Slenderman, eh? I see. Protective agency. Delete this file if it does not belong to you. We can't have it in the wrong hands. Okay. This is where I was raised. Oh. Oh no. Where I found happiness. Don't tell me you're going for those type of Slender Man origin stories that some people out there just made. I miss my happiness so much. They sealed me away. Oh hey Slendy. How's it going? It's been a while. Jump scare. But man, it, it has been a while since we... The pages. Well, that was it. Showing the face of Slenderman, which... I mean, is it the right way to just... Some art or something to just actually give Slenderman a face? Nah, I don't think... I don't think it does that too. Which somehow ruins... The icon of the character. And him giving him... Voices. 
Nah, I don't think it's not a right way to do that to the character. It will ruin the icon of the way how he, he was supposed to be. No voices, no faces, just blank. And no voices or anything. Because that gives the right way for the icon for the character. Or something like that for the developer. I don't know. But man, it has been a while since I last seen Slenderman. Like, I haven't watched any Slenderman videos at all. The the last Slenderman videos I watched was back in um, the ending credits of The Wrath of Jeffrey Keaton. And that's the last time I see Slenderman stuff, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I did... Well, I mean, I did watch the movie, but that's the last time I... I stopped thinking about Slenderman because you know Slenderman is truly dead now the fandom or the way how the character was made is now dead all because of these problems years later that's been ruined the character like some folks out there are trying reboot it or fix the character bring it back being horror by just having these stuff you see on the internet just erase it all just start over from the beginning and bring it back to being horror. The way how it was from that that website when you saw the first photo of the character. There gotta be someone you gotta do something about that. Like there could be some rules, like you cannot just have origin stories like having him like, oh he has families, like there are other slender mans. No. No. There no, I don't like I don't want that for Slenderman. Like, having him with family or something. Like, no. He's supposed to be some sort of entity. Like, they don't have to be a backstory like or anything. That would just make more understandable or sense for the character. Like, he's from hell or he's from this other world. Like, uh, it's better to just not do all those type of stuff to just ruin the character's iconic way. But anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is Lord of Flames here. I will see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.